Morning. It's August 8th, and today's reading is from the Language of Letting Go journal by Melody Beattie. And here we go. It's about saying yes, August 8th. Yesterday, we talked about learning to say no. Today, let's discuss another important word, yes. We can learn to say yes to things that feel good, to what we want for ourselves and others. We can learn to say yes to fun. Yes to meetings, to calling a friend, asking for help. We can learn to say yes to healthy relationships, to people and activities that are good for us. We can learn to say yes to ourselves, what we want and need, our instincts, and the lead, leading of our higher power. We can learn to say yes when it feels right to help someone. We can learn to say yes to our feelings. We can learn to identify when we need to take a walk, take a nap, have our back rubbed, or buy ourselves flowers. We can learn to say yes to work that is right for us. We can learn to say yes to all that will nurture and nourish us. We can learn to say yes to the best of life and love have to offer, to the best life and love have to offer. Today I will say yes to all that feels good and right. And you know, um, Tina Fey, I believe, does a really awesome, has a quote and or maybe it's Amy Poehler, one of those awesome funny ladies and it's all about say yes and figure it out later and you know there's even a whole book about saying yes it's what happened when I said yes for a whole year and I don't know the name of it um, but I'll look at it and I do improv I studied improv for quite some time and I absolutely you know it's that was a that was a gift in my life and it changed the way I looked at things and and it was so cool, and, and one of the major tenets in improv is yes and. And, you know, showing up to life and saying yes instead of being the cynic and being, you know, arms crossed and saying, no, I don't want to. It's so much more fun, and you can grow in so many more ways when you say yes. I've, I've discovered that no usually comes from fear. Now, sometimes saying no is healthy and it means, okay, I can't do it today and it's okay. And giving yourself permission and giving yourself a hall pass to be in a place where you don't overextend yourself. But when I am holding back because of fear of what other people think or when I am holding back because I am isolating, which is something that as you know, um, a person in recovery, isolating is is not the best thing in the world. And I think for anyone, isolating is not a good thing. We need each other. We need people. We need community. It makes things so much better. And when I say yes to going to um, a picnic, or when I say yes to going to to doing service, I mean, this past summer has been amazing in that I've been able to do a lot of service work and and really show up uh, even though what instinctually would have been a time that I might have hid out right you know after when when life hands you um, hands you challenges sometimes it's much easier to hide or to feel bad about it or or just you know, pretend it's not there or or stuff, but because I've had all this service work to do, it's kept me in in it. It's kept me in the game. It's kept me in my recovery. It's kept me in helping others. It's kept me in keeping open with other human beings and what they have to offer and what they think, and and it's been a major gift in my life. and And I'm so grateful that I have improv experience to know that saying yes is always a really it's a better choice it, it most of the time it's a better choice um but so say yes today say yes to something say yes to something fun for yourself do something fun be a kid like go skipping down the street i want a video of everyone <laughs> I'm skipping down the street. Oh, man, wouldn't that be fun? So for real, though, uh, say yes to something that is good for you and good for your soul. And I really appreciate you watching this and being here and um, allowing me to share my, my little corner, my little meditation corner and my recovery readings. And um, I hope they help you as much as they help me because this is a, a tremendous, tremendous... Um, help 
gets me centered every day. So thank you. Have a wonderful day and peace. Namaste.